IQ is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. For part A, we're asked to find the probability that a person has an IQ greater than 90. And we're asked to give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places, as well as a percent to one decimal place. We can indicate the probability that a person has an IQ greater than 90 as the probability that X is greater than 90. To determine the probability, we will use the free online normal distribution calculator linked below. So going to the calculator, we first select normal distribution at the top. Next, we enter the mean and standard deviation. The mean is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. Because we are determining probability, we use one of the three options on the left. We are trying to find the probability that x is greater than 90, and therefore we select the second option and enter the IQ score of 90, and then click Calculate. And the probability is given below in red. Also looking at the graph, notice how the area below the normal curve to the right of the IQ score of 90 is shaded. This area represents the probability, which to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.748. Let's go ahead and record this. zero point seven four eight as a percentage is seventy four point eight percent notice how we gave the probability as a decimal to three decimal places as well as a percent to one decimal place for part b you are asked to find the probability that a person has an iq less than 120 which we can indicate as the probability that x is less than 120. going back to our calculator we now select the first option where we have the probability of x less than, and then we enter the IQ score of 120, and once again click Calculate. Looking at the graph, notice how we do have the area shaded below the normal curve to the left of the IQ score of 120. This area represents the probability that x is less than 120. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0.909. which is equal to 90.9%. Now we need to be careful these next two questions are different. In a sample of 1,200 people, how many people would have an IQ less than 105? So we first will find the probability that the IQ is less than 105, which is the probability that X is less than 105. But then to find the number of people out of 1,200 that have an IQ score of less than 105, we need to multiply this probability by 1,200. Remember to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and then multiply. So we'll now find the probability as a decimal and then multiply by 1,200. Going back to the calculator, we select the first option and change the IQ score to 105. Click Calculate. Once again, on the graph, we have the area shaded to the left of 105 below the normal curve, and the probability is given here in red. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0.631. So this is approximately equal to 0.631 times 1,200. Going to the calculator. we have approximately 757 people. In this problem, we round to the nearest person. For part D, in a sample of 600 people, how many people would have an IQ greater than 135? To answer the question, we'll find the probability that X is greater than 135, and then multiply by 600, the sample size. Going back to the calculator one last time, we select the second option where we have the probability that x is greater than and change the IQ score to 135 and click Calculate. Notice on the graph we have the small area shaded to the right of the IQ score of 135. The probability went into three decimal places 
would be approximately 0 0.010. Notice how we have a nine in the third decimal place and then an eight to the right, so we round up, the nine changes to 10, giving us 0 0.010. And then we multiply by 600, which gives us six people. I hope you found this helpful.